Hello everybody, it's Murialda here once again, and welcome back to another figure unboxing. And as we can see, we have Mika. Yes, this is Jogasaki Mika from Idol Master Cinderella Girls. Uh, this is the Nasu no Yuaku version, or the Summer Tem Temptation version of her. Uh, she is a 1 8 scale figure, and she is manufactured by Wave, who is known for their beach queens, but this is not a beach queen. Uh, and this is part of their Dream Tech series. Uh, Mika was released on May 27th of 2017. And I ordered her way back October 28th of 2016. And she just got here today, uh, June 3rd. <laughs> and I paid for Mika 10,660 yen, or after the conversion rate, about $99.04. So yay. And she sat in the Tokyo airport for like two days, which I've never had happen to me. But anyways, it is what it is. So Mika is based off of artwork, which I absolutely love. I, I fell in love with this a long time ago, and I have it here for you. So yes, beautiful Mika. So when I saw this one, it was pretty much an instant buy for me. So anyways, there is the front of her box. There is the side of her box showing off a nice butt shot. There is the back of the box with some information about Mika and she has a neck joint, so her head twists and swivels a little bit. And there is the other side with a nice shot of her face and her boobs. Uh, there is her front, or top of the box, and she has a plain boring bottom. So the box is a little bit dented, but I don't care, it's a box. Um, I was a little worried about this figure because it is by Wave, and, you know, Wave isn't always best quality. Uh, my uh, lingerie hokey. She was from Wave, and she was part of the Dream Tech line. And she was kind of dirty and not the greatest figure, in my opinion. But Mika, from what I've seen, looks good. Some of the pictures, though, do make me a little concerned. But yeah, like I said, I love the, the artwork that she is based off of, so I had to buy this. Um, when I first heard of Mika, it was actually through Fat Company's figure of her when I saw it online. And I was, I, I thought she was going to be like an antagonist and was, would be a character that I wouldn't like. Well, then I watched Idolmaster Cinderella Girls and Mika showed up. And she turned out to be one of my favorite characters in the show. So you can't always go on first impressions. So let's get her open. I'm kind of excited. I've been waiting a long time for her. And www.hobbywave.com So if you want to go see their website. And if you got a translator, you can translate it to English if you want. So the inside of the box is kind of like a sky theme, and it's got her name and, you know, scale and Dream Tech series. Same with the bottom. So yay. And there is Mika in her blister packaging. So, right off the bat, the hair color does look better than I was expecting. So, yes, there is the front of the blister. And there she is from the side. And there she is from the back with a nice booty shot. And from the other side. And back to the front. So, yes. Uh, yeah, I saw some pictures on 2chan of her. And, like, the hair color didn't look good. And she did seem to have some specks of dirt on her arms and stuff. So, hopefully that's not how it's going to be. Okay. blister open and put that off to the side put Mika off to the side and we'll pull out her ugly ugly base so it's in a baggie and it's taped shut rip that open and take it out come on come on oh it's taped to the outside of the baggie okay so 
like I said, it is an ugly, ugly square base, uh, beige, beige colored. It's supposed to be like a beach, so it's textured like sand a little bit. But I really think it's kind of ugly. And it's got the like clear rim around the base. Let me try, you know, turn that on. Get a little bit more top light maybe. It's a beautiful day out, but traffic was so noisy I actually did shut the door. So yay. So, if we deal with that piece of tape. She also has, if I can get it open, uh, we'll cut it open, because that'll make it easier. If we can get it out, come on. So yes, there is a little piece of double-sided tape here. And that is supposed to help her can stay in her hand. I don't think it's absolutely necessary. So I'll put that off to the side for now. And then she has a necklace. The necklace looks kind of cheap in my opinion. I mean it's silver painted plastic of course. It does have a nice little flower jewel on the bottom. But like I said it does look a little bit cheap. Wasn't expecting perfect anything great though and then she has her can of soda yes it's a fruit mix and the can is nicely done a uh, nice detail on the top you got the pull tab and everything and, oh it's even got the nutrition label on it can we focus on it Nutrition label, it's got a barcode and it will not focus. So you'll take my word for it. So that's kind of cool. And the concave bottom. So that is Mika's accessories. So now, the star of the show, we have Mika. So let's get the plastic off of her. And you have to pop her head off to get the plastic off. So there's that. We'll put the blister off to the side too, and we'll start looking at her pieces. So there is her face. I think they did a pretty good job on her face. I love her eyes and the makeup on the sides of them, like right there. Um, when I was looking at the other pictures, I did complain maybe they could have done a different color for her lipstick to make her lips stand out a little bit more. But, I mean, it looks okay. It is a little bit pink. Sorry, I'm, I'm actually looking at it instead of looking through the camera. And the hair does, it is the same color as the prototype, actually. The pictures I saw on 2chan, they, it was like a, they oversaturated the colors, I guess. And then her scrunchies back there. Yeah, they're they're not perfect. I wasn't expecting perfection. But they're better than I thought they would be. She has a nice ear going on. Lots of detail in there. You gotta love her bushy ponytail. Oh yes, bushy ponytail. I think the head's actually pretty good. Uh, right there looks a little dirty-ish. But I can live with that. I like the little blush lines on her face. So yeah, nice head. And then we have her body. Yes, definitely a temptation. Body full of temptation, I should say. So in the prototype, one of the biggest complaints was there was a big gap between her arm and her boob. And that looks like it's been pretty much resolved. I wasn't worried about it. I figured it was going to be fixed. So her bracelet is like not permanently attached. You can jiggle it around. And it fades from like red to clear, which is cool. Uh, her bracelet, eh, it looks a little cheap. Can we see it? And if we look here, 
I can kind of see like where her arm joins into it. There's a little bit of a gap right there. It's not going to focus, so yay. Uh, her fingernails are painted, and they actually have little designs on them. Um, I will take better pictures later, so go on MSC and look at them. Can't really do very good with the camera not focusing. And she has very, very nice cleavage. And you can see there's nice separation, and you can see her... Uh, bikini top is not like welded to her body. There's like a gap there. And it's got a little jewel hanging off the bottom. She has a nice belly. You can see some muscle definition in there and a nice belly button. Her uh, bikini top and bottoms are studded. And she's got a little bit of a crease on her side where she, because of the way she's bending. Her back looks very detailed and very nice. And nice thighs on her and legs. It's got a bracelet on the foot. And the toes are also painted and they also have the little designs on them. So that's nice. There is her butt shot, the crotch shot. And if we can focus on it, you can see a little bit of butt crack gap. So that's a nice touch back there. So yeah, um, the finish on this is a little bit rough in my opinion, so it's not like alter quality, but I wasn't expecting that. Overall, I do think it's pretty good, uh, especially for Wave. So let's go ahead and get her necklace on, then we'll pop her head back on. There's her the joint hole. And I think... The joint actually looks better than the one on Hokey. Like, they added an extra piece of plastic in there. On Hokey, it was really bad. But yeah, so you can see, like, her head moves around. Can't really tilt it forward or back much, but you can, a little bit. So yeah, you can kind of change her look. And then you pop the can of pop fruit mix in her hand. And I can see why they included the... Uh, the little tape it is kind of a little bit loose but as you can see it's not really necessary same thing for her base it's not really necessary there's no pegs or anything she just sits on it so let's move her a little bit closer and tilt it down a little bit get a better shot of her and we'll tilt her head up so we can see a little bit better so yes Mika Mika Jogasaki uh, over there, center her a little bit, and we'll do a little spin around of her. So yeah, like I said, I think she is decent enough quality. Uh, I think, she, yeah, she's worth the price I paid, I would say. Some people would say no. Like, like I said, it's definitely not alter quality or anything like that, but I think Wave did a decent enough job on her. I think this is better than the hokey figure I have. So yeah, I'm happy with her. Like I said, I was a little bit worried when I was looking at the 2chan pit picks. And then, just for comparison, what do you say? Does she look like her uh, original artwork? Eh, maybe if we angled it a little bit better. But yeah, I love this artwork. I'm happy with the figure. I'm going to rate it maybe... If I was allowed to do points, I'd do 8.5. So, since I'm not allowed to do points, I'm going to round it up to a 9. So, yeah. Mika. I hope you enjoyed. I'm out. Actually, I forgot to, you know, close it out with the extra information again. So, yay. <laughs> yes, this is Jogasaki Mika. From Idol Master Cinderella Girls. Uh, she This is the Summer Temptation version, or Natsu no Yuaku. She is from the Dream Tech line by Wave, and is a 1 8 scale figure. And she was released May 27th of 2017. And I ordered her back on October 28th of 2016. 
and I paid 10,660 yen for her, which at the time of conversion was $99.04. And yeah, I think she's pretty decent. Anyways, now I'll close it out. I hope you enjoyed. I'm out. Bye-bye.